Hi, Chris here for Tenka Tech and welcome to the channel. And today's video is all about the if statement, what it is and how to use it. So let's get started now. With the expansion of what we learned from last week's video that was all about the potentiometer. What are they and how to use them? To make it more interesting for us, let's see how to build up from there. We can now move on into today's topic, that is the if statement, as it is a part of the conditional statements family, which change the way a program's flow. But before we get into the conditional statement, let's talk about the relational operators. Those relational operators are actually a way to ask if the answer will be a yes or a no to a question regarding the relationship between two numbers. You can see here, for example, we ask, is 8 equal to 5? Well, no. Or, is 8 greater than 5? Yes, it is. And we can check if 8 is not equal to 80. The answer is also yes here, as 8 is definitely not equal to 80. We express these questions using six different operators. A double equal sign asks the question, are the two numbers on the left and right equal? Its opposite is an exclamation mark followed by an equal sign that asks, are the two numbers not equal to each other? The less than symbol asks if the number on the left is less than the number on the right. Well, the greater than symbol, which is the opposite, asks, it's the number on the left greater than the number on the right. You also have the greater than followed by an equal sign. And this check if the number on the right is less than or equal to the number on the left. And finally, as you may have guessed, it's the less than followed by an equal sign. And this check if the number on the left is less than or equal to the number on the right. So how do we use that, you will ask? Well, the relational operators return an integer value, and this operation will result either with a 0 for false or 1 for a true. You know what? We can test this. Let's open a new sketch, and under the void setup, as you can see, we wrote serial.begin with a 9600 volt. Under, we have the serial.print line. Open the parenthesis and we put 8 is equal equal 8. Close the parenthesis and do not forget the semicolon here. We can now upload that and open the serial monitor. As you can see, the answer to our question, which is does 8 equal 8, come out as a 1 for true. Now, let's try a different operator using variables. We replace the sketch, still under the void setup, but this time we will add an integer a is equal to 8 and the integer b is equal to 7. Under that, we did a serial.print, open the parenthesis, a is lesser than or equal to b and close the parenthesis, semicolon. Upload this and check if the serial monitor, as you can see, we have a 0 to show that 8 is no lesser than or equal to 7. Integer is a great fun and all, but relational operators become far more useful when paired up with conditional statements as those conditional statements have some code that perform different actions depending on the outcome of some specified conditions. This is easily represented, let's say that we have to test a case in our program where we will evaluate if A is the same as B. This equation code represented as a diamond here in the flowchart. If the answer is yes or true, then execute some codes. If it's not true or false, then execute some other code instead. I think it's best if I show you. Let's look at a real code example. Back in our program, you can see we moved down the serial down print line and added above that. If, open the parenthesis, A is greater than or equal to B, close the parenthesis. Now what we have to do here is to open a curly brace and go to the serial.print. Open the parenthesis and here you can put whatever you wish after the quotation mark. But for this example, I had it is true. Close the quotation marks, close the parenthesis, and make sure you have closed your curly brace. You will notice there is no semicolon. This says that if the relational operation between the parentheses return true or one, then execute this code in between the curly braces. For us, the word will be it is true, will be printed to the serial monitor only if A was equal to or greater than B. Run this and open the serial monitor. Because A is greater than or equal to B, it is true, then shows up in the serial monitor. If we change A is less than or equal to B and send that to the Arduino, when we open the serial monitor, 
because A is not lesser than or equal to B, nothing shows up. Now, if we wanted to display something when our rational operation is false, which means that if the operation is true, do something, and if the operation is false, do something else, uh, I am not sure what you mean. Let me show you. We could add instead an else statement. So after the close curly braces, here you can see we write else then, open the curly brace, and then for better formatting, I advise you to add the serial.print open parenthesis open quotation mark. Sorry, it is not true. Close the quotation mark and close the parenthesis. Make sure that we have a close curly braces too, and no semicolon here. Now, if A is lesser or equal to B, we will have it is true. Otherwise, the words, sorry, it is not true, get printed instead. To verify that, we can change the relational operation to an equal, equal, to see if A is the same as B. Run this and you should see, sorry, it is not true appears when this is loaded. Be careful here, one common mistake you may find is accidentally typing one equal sign instead of two. When you mean to compare two numbers, for example, if I use A is equal B for my relational operation, what do you think will happen then if I run this? Oh, look, oddly enough, the program compiles and runs just fine. But when we check with the serial monitor, we, we get what? It is true. Wait a minute. Because A doesn't equal B. Close this first and you can see we had it after the curly brace another serial.println for A this time. Let's run this and see that indeed A has been changed to 7. A better way will be to include all in this section, like so. Now, running this, it is indeed easier to see what is happening. A is equal 7 and B is equal 7 too. We must remember that the single equal sign is the assignment operator here. It is not for comparing numbers. What's happening is that when you, our program reaches our if statement, instead of comparing A and B, it's assigned the value in B to A. Now A becomes 7. So if you are seeing weird behavior in your program from your if statement, definitely check to see if you didn't accidentally use a single equal sign. Close this and go back to add the equal sign here. Let's fix this. Not like that, but like this. It's an easy fix. We can now run this, open the serial monitor to get the sorry, it is not true. But this time, we have a better view and can now spot easily any problem when they occur. This is good and all, but now let's put this into practice. We are almost done here. There are times when you might want your Arduino to respond to some user interaction. For example, let's say when the voltage is too high, well, you might want to turn up an LED or even make some sound. Or you might want to make a robot drive forward. To do that, well, we need to chain together the if L statement and this to check more than one two states. In our case, if the voltage is above 4 volts, then we will turn the LED on, otherwise we will turn it off. Of course, we have to run this as a loop. First, let's change the view and bring an old sketch and setup that we used before. If you want to know more about this, just follow the description in the link down below. To establish where the LED turns on, and this will be our baseline, if you remember previously, it was around 0.64 to 0.65 volts. And then it remains the same even if we bring that to 5 volts. So let's turn off the LED. We will update our code in a way that it will be easier for us to follow. Send this to the Arduino and ta-da! Now we can test it and understand where we are at and dive into something more interesting. As you can see, I updated a sketch only in the void loop. And what I hide it, it's the if V2 is greater than 4 volt, then we will turn the LED pin high. And if V2 is smaller than 4 volt, then the LED pin will be low. So send this to the Arduino and uh, test this. Let's move the dial slowly. When we reach 2.9, then we will go very slow. Oh. <laughs> As you can see, it's very difficult. Okay, let's go back. Oh, there it is. And uh, above three, three, yeah. It works perfectly, as you can see. Yeah, 396 is fine. All right. We need to use a compound conditional. And this means 
you can use the N as well as R. So let's say if you want to turn on the LED as a warning light, let's say when the voltage is in between 2 to 3 volts, how do we do that? It's easy. By setting the voltage greater than 2, N, N, remember here, must be exactly like this, is lesser than 3. This will be valid only if both conditions are true. That is, V2 has to be greater than 2 and it also has to be lesser than 3. Only in that case, you will turn the LED on. Now, on the next line, we have to turn it off. We would say if V2 is lesser than 2, but it must be also when it's greater than 3, because you want to turn the LED off either way, isn't it? So here, we will use an OR. And the way to set an OR is to use those two bars here, like so. You can achieve this by using the shift and slash from your keyboard, which is situated above the enter key. Now, when V2 is less than 2 or when V2 is greater than 3, the LED will turn off. I hope you understand the difference between N versus R here, as it is pretty important. Let me know in the comment down below if you want me to explain the difference between N compared to R. And to finish, if you want to know where I get my sources from, it's simple, I will put the link in the description down below for you guys. But basically, we saw this, we saw this, and we saw that, right? So if you want more details, you can go here, they show you the code and explain to you a few things. And I also have this link that I will put here, if you're interested to find out more, of course. That is it for today. Thank you for watching the video. And just to let you know, I started the Patreon where, if you want, you can support me. And again, if you enjoy it, you know what to do. You can do your youtube things, like, if you want to, subscribe, you may as well. Or you can also press the bell icon if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. However, if you do not like this video, simply leave a comment down below and tell me why it's so. I will try to improve for you guys. Stay safe and bye now!